In New Jersey, and Governor Murphy ordering all state agencies to reevaluate their business partnerships with Russian backed companies and cut ties where possible in response to the country's invasion of Ukraine. And Newark City Council also voting to suspend the licenses of local Luke Oil gas stations. All right, council members say it's meant to stand with Ukraine, but as Teresa Priolo tells us, one franchise owner says all it does is hurt them. Let me be clear when I say that I stand with Ukraine and I'm full in support of Russian sanctions. However, I am baffled and confused. It's one of the biggest topics trending since the Russian invasion into Ukraine began. Local drivers urging a boycott of Luke Oil gas stations as a way to impact Russian oligarchs who made their riches in oil. The issue has caught the attention of the city of Newark, actively working to shut down Luke Oil while the war rages on. Luke Oil has direct ties to, to the Russian Federation, and if we suspend the business license for these two gas stations and the city's administration agrees with our resolution, um, you know, it sends a strong message to Luke Oil. Eliminating Russian interference is one thing, but boycotting Luke Oil can cripple a local business. We purchase all our oil from American oil companies. The employees that are hired are all Newark local Newark employees. I'm a U.S. citizen that pays local, federal, and state taxes. We wondered how that worked. Are the profits gained here really lining the pockets of Russia's elite? Sal Risavato is with the New Jersey Gasoline Automotive Association. Luke Oil in Russia owns Luke Oil North America. New Luke Oil North America is the supplier of that small business owner. Luke Oil North America doesn't own any of the Russian oil. Most of the Luke Oil stations in New Jersey were once mobile stations sold 10 years ago without input from the franchisee. If you if you, if I seem angry, you bet I'm angry because of the stupidity for political theater. Newark's resolution would prohibit all business on the property. Earlier today, Luke Oil made a call for peace. Until you know, the killing in Ukraine stops and the people of Ukraine stop fighting. We're, we're not looking to pull back a resolution. NJGAC says they will wait to see if the New York City Council comes to its senses. If it doesn't, they will consider legal action. In Newark, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.